Different types of licenses in New South Wales. A different liquor license is required depending on the type of business or activity being conducted. The primary purpose of a business is the reason it exists, i.e. your main business activity is the primary purpose of your business. The license category needs to align with the primary purpose of the business. For example, the primary purpose of a restaurant or cafe is the provision of food and selling alcohol is secondary, while the primary purpose of a small bar is the sale and supply of alcohol and selling food is secondary. Let's have a look at the different types of licenses issued in New South Wales. Hotel, including a general bar license, club license, on-premises license, package liquor license, producer wholesaler license, limited license, small bar license, and a pop-up license. A hotel, including a general bar license, are for hotels, bars, or taverns. Club license, are for registered clubs selling alcohol to members and their guests. On-premise license, tailored for a range of business activities, including a restaurant, entertainment venue, motel, vessel, nightclub, function centre, and other settings where alcohol is consumed on the premises with or ancillary to another product or service. E.g. for a restaurant, alcohol is sold with or ancillary to the provision of meals. Package liquor license, liquor stores or online sales. Producer wholesale license, Brewers, distillers, winemakers or wholesalers. Limited license. Functions held by non-profit organisations, as well as special events and trade fairs. Small bar license. Bars with up to 120 patrons when no gaming machines are permitted. Small bars may sell house-made, that is, beverages that are mixed on the license premise for takeaway consumption if the cocktails are in sealed containers. Housemade cocktails excludes pre-mixed cocktails away from the license premises. From the 30th of April 2021, eligible small bars may be issued an interim small bars authorization to trade as soon as their liquor license is lodged. This is subject to there being relevant development approvals in place. Pop-up license. Pop-up licenses introduced in 2019 are now available across New South Wales for small-scale bars and events. This allows existing licensees, creatives and other businesses to run pop-up bars, restaurants, performances and promotions for a 12-week period and includes outdoor dining. The pop-up license is also available to New South Wales licensed producers and provide tastings and sell takeaway liquor at pop-up promotional events. These types of low-risk license activities can liven up key areas by attracting visitors to underutilised areas and providing experiences that are unique in local communities or across New South Wales. There are limited circumstances when a license is not needed, such as where alcohol is sold by non-profit organisations at certain fundraising events. RSA requirements still apply to these events, including the need for persons serving alcohol to be RSA trained.